weeks after uh, my brother and I purchased our tickets to fly out to California, I get a phone call from him. He's wanting to discuss ideas for excursions um, and places and things to do while we're in California. Among the ideas that he suggested were um, a day in San Francisco, maybe a trip out to the wineries for uh, some tours, maybe even a trip down to Monterey to see the aquarium that's there. But the one um, excursion idea that he had that really struck me as unique and interesting was to visit this place called Muir Woods National Monument. All that he really told me about this was that it was a redwood forest and that he really wanted to um, give my uh, nieces the opportunity to visit a national park and to see something so unique because these types of trees are um, in only a few places around the world. Now fast forward a few months and we're actually in California and we're getting ready to start our excursion. Um, and I had actually assumed that our excursion would start once we arrived at the forest and we're out walking the trails. But this isn't quite the case um, because this particular uh, national park, which is north of uh, San Francisco, is actually very remote and a little bit difficult to get to. So when you get off the highway, you have about a five-mile uh, five drive, which will take you about 20 to 30 minutes because this road that you're on is actually a very windy road. Um, it's also going down in elevation as you're moving deeper into the valley. Um, so you get onto this road and you start out with uh, a gentle curve and then the curve gets a little more steep and then before long you're going through these very tight almost hairpin like curves. Um, once we arrived there, or actually the, the curves itself, it kind of felt like we're on a roller coaster because you're speeding up and slowing down, you're turning right and left as you're working your way through. Um, well, once we got there, got to the, uh, to the park, I found out that this particular road, the way that you get to this park, is one of the reasons why it's still here. Because it's one of the oldest, um, or it's one of the few remaining old growth um, redwood forests in the San Francisco Bay Area. All the other forests um, in that area have been, have been logged, and this one, because you can't get to it, they left it alone. Well, once we're in the park, uh, we're walking up to the first trees that we're seeing, we're seeing how big these things are. Um, the research that I did before um, arriving, it told me a little bit about the trees. I knew that they were big. Um, I found out that they, uh, the trees actually can grow up to 350 feet tall. That's about the height of the uh, Statue of Liberty. Um, and that their trunks can get upwards of 20 feet in diameter. So these are massive trees. Well, reading about this, you, you kind of think, okay, I get it, this is big. But it really doesn't do justice until you get there and you walk up to this tree and you look up and realize that, unlike here, when you look at a top of a tree, you just raise your chin a little bit and you can see the top. Here, or out, out here with these redwoods, you have to crane your neck all the way back. And it honestly might be easier just to lay down on the ground so that you can see the top of, of the tree. So, um, of course, once we walk up there and we start seeing this, I start seeing ahs and wows coming from my nieces and from my, my rest of my family, because none of us have seen anything like this. Um, as we're walking on these trails, um, one of the other interesting things that I noticed um, is that in this particular forest, you're completely cut off from all forms of communication. There's no cell phone reception because you're so deep and you're so far um, into this thick forest that signals just can't get through. So you have no choice but to put your phone in your pocket and experience and enjoy the, the nature that you're in. Well, one of these examples of, of noticing things that you might not notice is um, we have paused at the paused here in this forest and we're looking, um, looking at the different trees, looking at the different views of nature, um, taking pictures. And my wife points out to me that there's chirping, which I hadn't noticed because we just naturally block that stuff out when we're here because it's just background noise. As I started to focus on it, I began realizing that this chirping is actually quite loud um, and that it's coming from birds. And so as we're as we're sitting here listening to this, my niece asked me, where are they at? And I said, well, I think they're up above us. So we start looking. And granted, the limbs for these trees are 100, 200 feet up in the air. So it took us a little while to find these birds. But once we did, we realized that the birds are just little tiny specks. The only way that we were actually able to see them was to uh, focus on one area of the canopy and just wait. And every now and then, you would see a bird fly by. So it was just a very unique 
experience to be standing in this forest looking at nature and realizing that there's all this nature around us, there's all these different things um, that we don't necessarily see. So that was one of the unique experiences of being out here in this forest. Um, one of the other unique things about the, about the redwoods um, is that these trees, they, re they reproduce by two means. Um, one is by dropping seed, the other is by sprouting smaller trees out of, uh, out of the trunks of, a, of an older tree. Um, and what this, what, this, uh, um, what this gives us is over the span of a few hundred years, you'll get rings of trees. One big tree in the middle, and then a lot of smaller trees all around it. And as time goes by, these trees get bigger and bigger. Um, and these are, they call them family rings. And uh, there's one point on the trail that we're on that's called the uh, Cathedral Grove. As you're walking into it, it's a group of several of these different trees that are all in one giant circle. And as you get in, um, the trees have gotten so, are so big actually that they form uh, a giant canopy and a giant roof that's several hundred feet above you. So you walk in, you look up and go, wow, I feel like I'm in a cathedral. But this isn't a man-made, it's, it's nature-made. So that was another one of those really interesting aspects of, of this forest. Uh, and overall, the, uh, the entire trip, we saw lots of different things on this forest or during this walk that was very interesting um, and very eye-opening. But uh, one thing that I would suggest, if you're ever in the San Francisco Bay Area, is go out and experience something like this. Um, go visit the Mirror Woods National Monument because it's a very interesting site. Thank you. Thank you.